everyone, my name is Elfa, welcome to Plummy Sims and welcome to today's speed build. I hope you're all doing well and having such a fantastic day. So today we are building in the world of Sulani and this is the world that came with the Island Living Expansion Pack. And this is the, I'm not sure about the neighborhood's name, but this is the area of the top left of the map maybe or even the bottom right i'm not sure but this is the lot where it has all of the land area and it's kind of like the like over the top mountain lot um and i hadn't had the chance to build anything on this lot before but um last week i decided just to build on this lot actually uh, my first plan was to build a traditional house from Indonesia, it's called Rumah Gadang or um, Gadang House, I think, and it's actually from West Sumatra. But the roofing is just so hard; it's impossible to recreate. And I spent about three-ish hours in build mode just to like you know like figuring out the roofing part. And it's just, I mean, it. I kind of did it, but it looks ridiculous. It looks so stupid, and it doesn't look like the real life version so i decided just to scrape that off and build this um actually i have built two different traditional houses from indonesia um but i just wanted to do more because we still have i don't know like many many more at least 20 plus more or even 30 more and my main issue with our traditional houses was the roofing i mean the interior will be i don't want to say easy but it's quite challenging but not as challenging as the exterior part or the roofing because it has this like very organic shape roofing but still very traditional and it's just basically impossible to recreate and i decided just to scrap that off and build this so actually um i didn't plan on building this big house this is the 40 by 30 lot and the lot name is the Chiefstein Villa, I think. Um, but I was on Pinterest the other day and I saw this kind of like an illustration exterior dollhouse, if that makes sense. Um, and that's basically the main inspiration of this build. So um, this build might look like that but not really because it's basically i mean the reference image is a one-story house and this is like a two-story house also the lot is way bigger than i thought it was because um, i know this is like a 40 by 30 lot but i didn't expect that it will be this big especially because it's like very private and very hidden over here i mean the view is amazing and the lighting is just drop dead gorgeous i love Solani so much um, but I decided just to you know like split the lot into two different um, areas so the first one is the like main building over here this is the house and the rest will be um, we have like a, like an outdoor bar and we also have a I don't know like lounge area on the back um, I mean I'm not sure which one is the back and which one is the front because I decided just to build it backwards I mean the front is the back and the back is the front because um the lighting is just better that way and um it took me around four hours to finish this build and i tried to use as little packs as possible but i still use quite a lot of packs so um i use obviously island living um cats and dogs cottage living jungle adventure the oasis kit what else um let me see snowy escape laundry day laundry day is actually really really good to pair with um both sulani or island living and jungle adventure and also the maximalist kit i use that and i'm not sure i use quite a lot of facts but i will try to list it on the description box below hopefully i don't forget about that um but I freaking love this build because I didn't expect that I will like this build as much as I do but turns out I love it very much because I think I have no build that looks quite like this I mean we have several different um, like 
diagonal rooms. I believe this living room over here is diagonal and the entrance is also in a diagonal and I believe the bar is to the outdoor bar which you will see um, later on and the diagonal isn't my most favorite part. I mean they have weird scaling and sometimes it's just impossible to you know like doing the let's say the kitchen in diagonal they will have like harsh lines but um, I decided just to you know like build on diagonal on certain parts of the house because it makes it makes this house has more like something you know it, it makes it more interesting to see and also we have a laundry not a laundry day we have a laundry room over here so on the first floor we have the of course the entrance the living space the kitchen the dining we have we have a bathroom a bedroom and a laundry room so um, i play test everything it works just fine and i was so surprised that i don't have this weird like shadowy issue because normally when i build on platform it will give me this kind of like a shadowy harsh shadowy line on the upper floors especially if you have the platforms like i don't know maybe like you put the platforms like two levels higher um it happens a lot on me but luckily on this build it didn't and we have two different uh dining spaces so the first one is over here it's more indoor and more i don't like more private and we also have the semi outdoor version i mean the kitchen will be on the indoor outdoor part of the house which is really really cool i think it looks um interesting that way and also um i imagine that this family over here they have lived on this world or this island for a long time and maybe the parents love to you know like have like a kava party or i don't like invites a lot of villagers from Sulani to have like a party on their house something like that so that's why we have like a huge kitchen and dining and also a lot like a lot of space for the dining room um that's basically my main idea and that's also why we have like a semi outdoor bar and this is the kitchen i love this kitchen so much it's so big and i didn't clutter that much because um i want this kitchen to you know like able to have this um what is the term for that like cooking together like group cooking whatever it is um it's actually came in base game a few months ago with the cottage living or even almost a year ago yeah i believe so and um with the cooking together like group activities thing you need to have a lot of like counter space like a free from everything counter space so i decided just to not to clutter that much over here we have um quite a big space for the kitchen and i think even though it doesn't have that many clutter it still looks really nice and we have the access to the like um dining and kitchen from the side yard of the build because i really wish to have like a direct access without having the guests to you know like enter the house and then they walk past through um the kitchen or not the kitchen the indoor dining and also see everything on the inside basically they could just walk um right through the kitchen and dining outside or semi outside area and um that's basically the first story so this is the second story on the second story we have like a bathroom it's not like an ensuite bathroom we have no ensuite here um we have like a master bedroom and we also have like a diagonal shape bedroom like regular bedroom it's not like an like a guest bedroom or whatever it is it's just basically like the regular bedroom before the kids and even though it's super small super super tiny it works just fine and i play tested everything for three sims days just to make sure everything works just fine and i'm glad that it is so um i'm not sure if this bedroom should be for the teen maybe or i believe it's supposed to be for the preteen because i remember when i was growing up and i was like i don't know, like 
10, 11 maybe. Um, basically on the age of like preteens, um, my bedroom didn't look that interesting. I still had um, a lot of kids furniture, but I do also had some furniture that I don't know, like looked more grown up. Um, so it's basically like an in between like age group. And this is the um, the parents' bedroom. The parents' bedroom is so dreamy. I really really love this, and we have a lot of windows here. So I decided just to do that because I believe Suwani has one of the best lighting on every single lot. Um, not every world has like good lighting on each lot, but Suwani has, and um, to make it look prettier i decided just to put a ton of windows here and oh also i used some items from outdoor retreat and movie hangout and parenthood paranormal stuff bag um what else city living eco lifestyle backyard stuff bag oh my god i use a ton of packs i am truly sorry if you don't have those packs or few packs that i mentioned but i will try to list the packs that I use on every single build on the description box so you will know what packs that I use the most on this build I mean I mean I might use like one or two items from like many packs but still it might be helpful to list the packs that I use and also if you wanted to see what items from each packs that I use you can check it from the gallery the in-game gallery um, because you can check what items that I use or everyone used from those packs like each item either they use like 20 items or just one item or even like a debug item so yeah that may be helpful for you too and um, we basically finished with the interior we're now doing the exterior and since um, this is quite a big lot I decided just to put a bar over there that diagonal part is actually a bar and I had hard time to fill up the lot a bit because um, at first I was thinking to have like a like a pond but it just doesn't make sense because this is like on the mountain top of the world and it's just nonsense if you have like a pond on the mountain but there's also a beach that's just doesn't make sense to me so i decided just to put this bar and i think the bar object is from the digital deluxe i believe i could be wrong but i think it is and if you don't have the deluxe version of this game you can simply um use the sulani or island living version or even the base game version they would work just fine for this build and also i have to mention this but that um blind shades thingy that i put over the chase area um it's way too small and it blocked the um sims to be able to you know like lounge um, but I decided just to like make it slightly bigger with tool mod and it will work just fine now So yeah, I am truly happy with the result of this build. It's just so nice and lush. I love this build so very much and um, Since we have a laundry area, you will have to do the laundry um, But if you wish to not doing the laundry, you can simply just delete the clothesline and the washing top and also the washing machine because I didn't put any dryer here because I imagine that this is supposed to be the tropical um, world and I live in a tropical country we have no dryer here it's just ridiculous to have a dryer here we basically dry it naturally with the power of the sun and um yeah I didn't put any dryer on this build so if you don't want to dealt with the whole like laundry activities simply just leave those and maybe you can change that room into like a half bathroom or i don't know like a closet maybe or a pantry even it's all up to you i don't mind if you want to change like some things from this build as long as please do not re-upload my builds without making any changes it makes me really really sad but if you has changed something from my build and re-upload it it's totally fine as long as you 
give me some credits um so yeah i think that's it we just have to finishing up the exterior here and we'll be heading on to the screenshots in just a few seconds so if you want to download this build this has been up on the sims 4 gallery you can find it under my eaid which is alpha Tierra, or under the hashtag plummy sims you can also click the link in the description box below that will bring you to my coffee website it'll have two different links the first one is the gallery download link and the other one is Trey files link from Silva share so yeah i think that's it i really hope you have enjoyed this video and if you do please make sure to hit the thumbs up button also make sure to be subscribed to the channel if you haven't already and if you'd like to you can also ring the bell so you'll be notified every single time i upload a new video so yeah i'm going to sign off right now thank you so very much for hanging out with me today and supporting my channel i hope you have the very best day and Hopefully you enjoy the rest of the screenshots too. So yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Bye!